Welcome to my channel, all my crafty friends. I'm going to be doing some mason jar decorating today. I'll be showing you decoupaging, air dry clay, and an ombre paint finish with fine line crackle that looks just like aged cracked porcelain. So if you're ready, let's make a mess. I'm painting a base coat of a very neutral beige. I lightened up a portion of the paint for my base coat. I intend to use the larger jar as a soap pump, so I'm making sure not to get paint on the threads of the jar. After the first coat was dry, I sprayed both jars with a clear matte spray sealer to prevent peeling and chipping. I'll cover the threads with painter's tape before I spray the sealer. That way there will be no problem with the soap dispenser lid screwing on. Whatever you do, don't skip this step. I have a video on why this is so important. Click the link in the above right hand corner to see that video. After the sealer dried, I gave them another coat of paint. I'm giving this a vintage look by adding the darker color to the top and bottom of the jars. I'm using an ombre technique to blend the two colors together. I have a video on how to paint ombre with very specific instructions on how to do it. You can click the link in the upper right hand corner to see that video. I'll leave links in my description box for these videos as well. I'm going back and forth with a sponge blending the two colors until I'm happy with the results. If you're enjoying and finding some value in this video, please hit that like button for me. Doing so helps my channel to grow and sends this video to more people out there. That way I can continue to bring you awesome tutorials. Thanks for doing that. Where are you watching from? Let me know in the comments. It's fun to see what cities and countries you are all watching from. I'm filming from Las Vegas, Nevada in the United States. I purchased this adorable Honey Bear SVG on Etsy. I had my Cricut machine print and cut it out for me. After printing and before cutting it out, I sealed it with a spray matte sealer to prevent the ink from running. I'm attaching the picture to the large jar using Mod Podge. Because the jar is rounded, I'm making some snips in the paper so it will lay flat. This set matches the Honey Bear plaque that I made in a previous video. I'll link it in my description box, but there's also a link in the upper right hand corner if you'd like to watch that video as well. Now I realize not everyone has a Cricut machine. I'm going to be offering this picture for sale in my Etsy shop, just in case you want to duplicate this project. It will be printed, sealed, and cut out for you, ready to add to your project. Now I'm using a round sponge and rolling it over the image to press out any air bubbles and make sure it's attaching to the jar properly. I let that dry for a little bit and then sprayed the jar with clear matte sealer to protect the image. I just love this little bear. I think he is so cute. To add to this vintage look, I'm going to add a crackle finish using Pentart's Fine Line Crackle two-part system. Right now I'm adding step one and then I'll let that dry for about two hours until it's clear. I'm getting ready to roll out all my spring projects. Lots of flowers. You'll want to subscribe so you don't miss any of them. Now I'm adding step number two. This component is an amber color. Apply this in thin, even strokes. If there is a drip or buildup anywhere, you'll see it when it dries. I'll let this dry for several hours. Once dry, you'll be able to see the cracks. You can use a blow dryer or a heat gun for just a couple of minutes to make more and deeper cracks. It's dry now and there are some really nice cracks. I'm going to add some antiquing to make them all stand out. I'm using dark brown oil paint. This makes a great antiquing medium. I'm going to rub it on with a soft cloth and then wipe it off right away. 
it will stay in all the cracks and crevices, giving the piece a very vintage old porcelain look. From here on, you can only use solvent-based products on this jar. Anything water-based will destroy your cracked finish. The oil paint is solvent-based, so it's perfect for this use. It's also considerably less than solvent-based antiquing paste and does exactly the same job. I'm also adding some of the antiquing around the bottom of the jar and at the very top under that edge. It really adds to that vintage appearance. One final step for that vintage look. I mixed some dark brown paint and some cream paint with water to make them very runny. I'm splattering the paint on the jars with a fan brush. And wow, that really does give it that vintage worn out look. Now I know I just said nothing water based, but this is just a few little splatters of paint. So it'll be okay. I let all that dry for about an hour and then gave both jars a coat of high gloss clear spray sealer. I'm making some little bees and a honeycomb out of Delight air dry clay. Are you having any craft problems you can't figure out? Or maybe something you'd like to learn? Send me a comment, I'd love to try and help you. After the clay dried, I painted everything, then gave it all a coat of brush-on varnish before antiquing. If you want to antique something, it will need to be sealed first, so it will wipe off where you need it to be removed. I'm using Vintage Effect Wash in black for my antiquing medium. I'll brush this on and then wipe it off right away. It will stay in all the cracks and crevices, creating all my little black lines on the bees' bodies. Make sure you click that bell so you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. After the antiquing dried, I added some really pretty iridescent dragonfly paint to just the wings of the little bees. I found that at Hobby Lobby. Then I gave them all a coat of high gloss spray sealer. Now it's time to work on the little piece of the honeycomb. I painted it gold, then used brush on varnish to prepare it for antiquing. I'm antiquing this one with a brown antiquing medium. Brushing it on and then wiping it off right away, just like I did the bees. After that dried, I added some gold rub and then some pearl white rub to highlight it. Then sprayed it with a high gloss sealer. Send me a comment and let me know what type of project you would like to see next. Decoupage mixed media canvases? or more mason jar decorating just like this one. Your suggestion could be my very next video. I answer every single comment I receive. I love hearing from all of you and look forward to reading all your comments. And now it's time for my favorite part. I love putting it all together. I'm adding the honeycomb and a couple of the little bees to the small jar and one of the bees to the larger jar. Then added some twine to both jars. I'll be adding a dispenser pump to the larger jar so it can be used for soap or lotions. This is such an adorable set for a nursery. I'm putting together a kit for this project. The kits are completely customizable and available for purchase in my Etsy shop. I'll have the basic items included, but you can add additional items if needed or eliminate anything you already have in your craft stash. Send me a message either through YouTube or Etsy. The link to my Etsy shop is below in the description box.
I've put together a playlist of some other tutorials you may enjoy. Click the picture on the right to be taken directly to that playlist. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking my picture in the top right corner so you don't miss any future videos.